Alright, so we're back with the only game that would allow you to build a roller coaster experience that could go across the entire planet. It's Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. What do you know? We're doing something stupid today in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Play a game, damn it. Whenever I forget how many times I make this game crash, I look at my save file name and realize that I called it Crime More. Oh, I forgot about the little endless hell pit that people spawn into where they can't leave. That's unfortunate. Okay. In all my stupidity, I have decided that I want to create a roller coaster that is longer than the entire diameter <gasps> of the earth. I want to be able to go from one side of the earth on a line to the other. So the diameter of the earth is about 7,900 miles. We did like 1,600 miles before, which means that we're gonna have a lot of space for improvement. <laughs> I don't care what it takes though. We're gonna have a roller coaster that could go through the ground from one side of the earth and pop out on the other side. God damn it, let's do this. A few issues here. The first issue is that we're at a point now where math begins to collapse in upon itself and create numbers that are impossible and thus the game crashes. But I feel that my level of masochism is stronger than the game's ability to disregard mathematics. And thus, we're gonna give this a shot. I do have to take this moment to say that I can't quite fathom how we're getting such a high response rating from all the people that come to the park when about one third of them get stuck on the edge of nowhere. What's even worse is there's a couple of families on the steps below here. Just the, the, the squalor and the trash keeps building up. Okay, so first things first. In order to get this to work, we're gonna need a lot more of these. I'm serious, right now we have, I don't even know, maybe like 30 of them? We're probably gonna need at least 100. <laughs> this is probably also the time when I'm gonna have to start putting these below the ground so I can fit more space. I like how this game just does absolutely whatever it wants. Like, it, it'll decide a height cap on these different areas and it'll just be like, this one gets to be lower than the others. There's no real rhyme or reason for it, but considering we're dealing again with math that doesn't really make sense, I guess this is like the smallest issue at hand right now. See, this one's allowed to go even higher. Why? I don't know, because the roller coaster gods decree it. They don't really have a lot of requests, those roller coaster gods, besides the constant sacrifice of your sanity and time. All right, so let's find out where we are right now by connecting these together and seeing what sort of stupid numbers we can achieve. Part of me wants to autocomplete this, and part of me knows that there's no way in hell this game is going to figure out how to connect these two things. Ah, and the cancer begins. It's everyone's favorite mini game. How well can the AI figure out simple problems? Considering the amount of people that are now stuck inside of my aquarium death circle, uh, the AI is not too good at figuring it out. Okay, you know what? You know what game? For forget it, forget it. If I leave you to this, Skynet will be at it all day. Always remember to save your game often, because if you don't, you're gonna wanna buy a hard copy of this game just so you can take the DVD, break it in half, and shove it down your throat. All right, Satan Coaster, make Papa Gray proud. People are having trouble leaving Aquarium 1. I know. I designed it that way. I like how the ride isn't even a ride anymore. It's just the appearance of a roller coaster in different parts of the map moving at light speed over and over again. <laughs> okay, so our maximum speed for the roller coaster right now is 1.4 million miles per hour, which is rookie numbers. Those are rookie numbers. Uh, however, the ride length right now is 11,500,000 feet. That means right now the ride is 2,100 miles. We're still gonna have to do a lot better than that, but as a start, that ain't bad. I like how all the brain power of everyone in this entire game has been infused into one mascot lady's head. Okay, so in order for us to get our, our goal over here, I have the feeling we're going to have to make, and I'm just I'm just coming up with this, uh, right around 100 more of these curly Q things. I think the thing that impresses me the most about this game is how well it runs even though I've done my damnedest to absolutely destroy anyone's ability to enjoy their time at the park. Although if you think about it, anyone who gets stuck inside of the aquarium, it's their own fault. Because look at this shark. This shark is the most depressed being that has ever existed in a facility meant to entertain people. 
I gotta spend all my money on antidepressants inside of the water supply. By now though, in Planet Coaster, the game would be unable to render the amount of track that I would have made so far. So I do appreciate that whatever is doing it is allowing me to continue to play despite having like a bajillion miles of track on the ground. Hold my beer, boys. We're asking the autocomplete to do something that isn't a straight line. Will it succeed? No. No, it will not. Uh, I just broke the game in a way that the game was never supposed to break. It is supposed to limit you on how deep you can make your coaster. I don't know what happened. I just decided to put some extra track over here. And now I have legitimately buried my coaster into a depth that it should never be allowed to go. It inverted the direction of the coaster somehow. Up has become down. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity uh, that since I have discovered how to make an infinite coaster now to just continue clicking on this for like the next half hour. Okay. I want you people to understand right now how deep this coaster has gone at this point. <laughs> oh my god, it's still letting me build. <laughs> oh god's a roller coaster tycoon 3. What did I do to deserve this glory? Okay, well, a lot of people have said that they have uh, built a coaster that goes down to the core of the earth. I think that we've legitimately done it at this point. I don't know how or why. I'm not even sure if this glitch is going to persist, so I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and take the acceptance that it was supposed to happen this way and say that we did it. No, I don't know the meaning of excessive. I'm still going. I don't even know why I clicked on the autocomplete. This game can't even figure out how to complete tracks that are within the boundaries of normal game limitations. The fact that I have created a track that completely transcends all the possible boundaries that it confines your normal building to, there's no way in hell this is ever going to complete. Oh my god, it connected. I don't know how the hell it got, I got it to connect, but whatever, it worked. Go forth, roller coaster, and destroy the very fabric of reality. The crazy part is, the roller coaster is going to spend like two years underground because it has to go down that gigantic mine shaft that we've created. Yes, my coaster. Bend reality. At this point, you don't even see the coaster anymore. It just kind of appears now and again as like a Goku level after image. I just want to let everyone know that the only reason why the temperature goes up every once in a while is because our roller coaster moves so fast that it heats up the ambient air temperature with friction. So I need to take the opportunity to uh, mention some math here for a moment. First things first, we have reached a vertical G-force rating of 2.1 million Gs. That wasn't bad enough. Over by the speed area, our roller coaster is going 6.5 million miles per hour. Okay, we're at about 11.9 million feet. So we're at like 2,300 miles, but we still have a long ways to go. Some people have asked me, they've said, Hey, Gray, do you know about the euthanasia roller coaster? And I said, why do I need to know about that? My roller coaster doesn't do that sort of thing. Did you hear the sound that my roller coaster made when it went through the screen? That was the sound of atoms being split. Okay, real quick, people. This roller coaster is now up to 26 million miles per hour. 26 million miles per hour. I might actually be able to get us to light speed. There was a positive G-Force rating of 3.2 million Gs. These numbers don't even mean anything anymore. You ever wonder what it was like to go 26 million miles per hour? It's a lot like this. It's not just about seeing your life flash before you. It's about seeing the lives of everyone in the entire history of the universe's lives flash before them. I'm pretty sure we just crashed the game. It's always a good sign when the game now takes like three minutes to load up the save. Cutlass's one has just broken down. Is it because the roller coaster passed within a mile of it? Oh, never mind, it's been fixed. It's also possible the roller coaster is moving so fast now that it's reversing the rotation of the earth and we're going back in time. I actually have to be a little bit careful not to crash the game now because simply opening up the game takes like four minutes. 
Tell the people in the aquarium anyone who wants to leave can come over to this freaking roller coaster and test it out for me. Oh my god. We are now at 21 million. 499,000 feet. <laughs> How many miles is 21,499,160 feet? 21,499,160 feet is equal to 4,071.811 miles. We're getting to there. Convert from feet to miles, divide Shut up, I don't need any more information. I have created an interesting phenomena. The roller coaster never ends. It just continues on forever. I like how the happiness is going down. All of my guests are probably like, Gray, you started to legitimately move the tectonic plates with your roller coaster. Corkscrew coaster has not crashed. It's clearly still running because the after image of the coaster is still moving. What sort of wizardry is going on here? You know, William Wallace killed 50 men. But I built a roller coaster that is 28,485,422 feet long. <laughs> Clearly, I don't have enough curly cues yet. Okay, I've put about another hundred of these things in going up and down. Let's see where we can get now. But technically, I've only put one in, but now that the game has for some reason unlimited me to how deep they can go, it's like a hundred. It's fantastic. I don't have to. I don't have to have my park go any wider. It does create a file size that inevitably will make it completely unable for me to get back into the game though, so I need to do this pretty soon. I mean, I guess I could just go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning, my game will be loaded. We're getting close, man. We're getting close, man. We're at 37,923,436 feet. We're also at... Whatever this is, 22 million miles per hour. I'm cranking this up. This is this is rookie numbers we've got. We've got to get all the way to the top. I'm also right on the cusp of repeatedly crashing this game with how many tracks there are and how fast this damn roller coaster is moving. Okay, so right over here, this is what I like to call the twilight zone. Everyone is about to ride this roller coaster for the next seven or eight minutes. But by riding it, I mean that their soul is the only thing that's left on the coaster because their body has been turned into a gas. You don't get cremated on this roller coaster. There's not even ashes left. 67,500,000 feet. That's how long the roller coaster is right now. And the game just crashed, but it's fine. I got the frigging numbers up on the screen at least before it hopelessly crashed. So it's 67,512,056 feet. We managed to go 12,786 miles. We went almost one and a half times the diameter of the Earth. No, we went past one and a half times the diameter of the Earth. We have created a roller coaster that is pure hell to ride. It's also pure hell for me to load this friggin' save file now because it takes forever to load. Anyway, we did it. We managed to make a roller coaster that could go from one side of the entire planet to the other. It is now longer than the Earth. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I hope I never have to make another video on this game because loading this save file makes me want to eat my own friggin' microphone. Until next time. Stay foxy and much love.